Ryan Ayala, the teacher who wrote a lesson on Allen Ginsberg's poem Howl, apologized in a letter to the Kassin saying it was the most offensive material treated in his classroom after he had not received parental consent, requiring students to fill in gaps such as Fedna, Cork, and other obscure languages. Fox News reports, Howl, Fear and Disgust, American psychosis these are important elements of our cultural history, but they are also works that no one should be forced to read. Ayala also asked the students to fill in the graphic parts, which were omitted from the approved text, as already mentioned, i.e., the parts relating to people who let themselves be shouted at by the offended joyful motorcyclist. Saints, students should never feel embarrassed and guilty as part of a school assignment. Jeremy Dice, Special Advisor to First Liberty Religious Freedom Group, told Fox News, If you're not familiar with this literature, I'll link to the most famous quote in the book It's nothing graphic like Howl, but it shows where I come from in my youth and what my parents would see. The Howl is undoubtedly important, but like much American literature, it must be discovered either in college electives or alone. Allen Ginsberg's Howl is one of the most controversial poems in the American canon, at least as far as high school is concerned. Moloch, in which I feel alone. Moloch, where I dream of angels. Mad in Moloch, C.S.R. to Moloch, Lacky the No Man in Moloch. Ginsberg wrote, If they want to teach on controversial subjects, they can, but they must warn the parents and give them the opportunity to choose another task. Dice said, there are also parts of the poem that praise the virtues of drunk and pedophilia and public sex in cemeteries, among other things, in terms that can't be printed here and shouldn't be printed in school textbooks. When Brad Cass and discovered that his 16-year-old daughter, Skylar, had received the poem including the excised tongue and without warning the parents he became angry. You know the following words, naked, hungry, hysterical people wandering the black streets at dawn in search of a solution to anger. It is even worse with this description of heroin addiction. Here, I must confess I read Howell in high school, not because I was assigned, but Howell remains a divisive and elusive literature, mainly because of its open depictions of sexual behavior and drug use. 